This is P.T. Isles, the All-Islanders panel discussion show presented by Gotham Sports Network and Isles Block. Here's your hosts, Joe Bono, James Duffy, and Alex Peck. Islanders country, hello. This is P.T. Isles, another special edition as we continue to discuss the developing situation between Barclays Center and the Islanders. Tonight we speak with someone who's been around the Islanders arena issues in the past. That's Town of Hempstead Supervisor Anthony Santino, and he joins me now. Mr. Santino, Joe Bono, thanks for joining us. Uh, It's my pleasure to be here, Joe. Thanks. Supervisor Bloomberg breaks the story on Monday that Barclays may be looking to opt out of that lease this time next year. Why did you feel it was necessary to put out that statement this morning, stating your desire to meet with John Ledecky, to meet with Scott Malkin, about a possible triumphant return, as you put it, back to Long Island? Well, I think it's important both for the uh, owners of the uh, Islanders and for the community at large uh, to understand that the uh, town of Hempstead uh, will uh, be uh, obviously very, uh, very interested in uh, having the Islanders come back to their historic home, uh, which uh, obviously is the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and that uh, we would uh, really roll out the red carpet for them, uh, whether it's... uh, issues related to zoning or issues related to permitting, building permits and things of that nature, uh, we would uh, work hand in, hand in glove with the uh, Islanders' ownership uh, to get them, back to the, uh, get them back to our township. Mr. Santino, you mentioned permits. One of the main reasons fans have been led to believe that moving back was such an impossibility is the seating capacity believed to be around uh, 13,000 or so. I'll find out when I go see Billy Joel in April. Um, can you... Tell us definitively that there is the ability to increase that seating capacity for hockey above 15,000? Well, I mean, that has been indicated by the Nassau County Executive, uh, uh, who obviously is is county property, and uh, and he is more intimately uh, knowledgeable uh, about about that. But taking him at his word that the the, uh, arena can be uh, retrofitted, for lack of a better term, uh, to 16,000. Uh, uh, our uh, our role in it from the town perspective is, uh, you know, any any zoning changes or any uh, any permitting that may be necessary, environmental reviews or things of that nature uh, that uh, would be necessary should the uh, uh, should the arena be uh, uh, additional seats be added to the configuration, or should any other modifications uh, be necessary to accommodate the Islanders that would fall within our purview, and we stand ready, willing, and able to uh, do whatever we have to do to uh, facilitate the return of, uh, of uh, the Islanders to their historic home. It's, uh, I've likened it to, uh, and I think it makes sense, is the, the Yankees being anywhere other than the Bronx. I mean, the Islanders are Nassau County. They are Long Island. They are town of Hempstead. Uh, that's where uh, I, as a young man, uh, uh, saw you know their incredible Stanley Cup uh, championships year after year and uh, that's something that is a part and parcel with uh, our history as a township and with the islanders history as a as a franchise this is where they belong town of hempstead supervisor anthony santino is our guest you know just how much over the last few years have uh, nassau county residents come up and just talk to you about the islanders i mean there are certainly a lot of fans um, some believe it's a pipe dream to have this team back on Long Island and back at the Coliseum. How often does it come up in your day to day as uh, as the uh, as the town of Hempstead supervisor? Well, it certainly comes up. It is certainly something that uh, is uh, you can see the the, the fan base is, remains very very strong uh, on Long Island. It is something that does come up uh, uh, from time to time, and uh, people feel very passionately about the Islanders and. Uh, and about them uh, coming back from the Barclay Center here to uh, to Nassau County. Uh, so it's something I deal with uh, at, at least once or twice a week. I hear from somebody uh, that uh, that tells me that this is uh, this is uppermost on their mind. And that might be happening a little bit more often with the most recent news. You mentioned earlier um, Nassau County Executive, Executive Ed Mangano. He said that he actually met with the Islanders and Barclay Center back in November. Uh, John, John Ledecky confirmed to be at that meeting. He's stated, he quoted, saying that there is a path to the Islanders coming back. Just out of curiosity, have, were you aware of that meeting? Have you talked to uh, Ed Mangano about that and what, the, uh, what, what was discussed at all? 
No, I've I've read published reports. I've, I've uh, what I've read in the, in the newspapers and uh, on the internet is what I know uh, is what I know about that. Uh, but again, I take the county executive uh, for his word because I know he feels uh, very passionately about the Islanders coming back to Nassau County as well. Um, now, listen. I think uh, you know there are those that may be skeptical of Nassau County politicians, and, and you know some may feel that despite the fact that. Islander fans had an opportunity to vote to keep them there that, you know, maybe certain politicians didn't do enough to keep the team on the island in the first place. So, you know, if you're an Islander fan and you live in Nassau County, Nassau County, you know, why are you optimistic about the involvement of some of the same people that were around at that time um, that they're going to really try to do their best to get the team back there? Well, this is an entirely different set of facts. I mean, back, uh, back in those days, uh, this uh, was uh, – the, uh, the whole fate of the Islanders was tied into by its then ownership uh, into it was one small part of a massive uh, uh, business development uh, uh, that uh, was uh, was going to change the face of Nassau County forever. It was just one small little bit of it. Uh, now, as uh, simply just as an issue of, of bringing the Islanders back without that kind of massive development being uh, being tied to the fate of the Islanders, it's a whole different set of a uh, whole different set of circumstances. This was never about the Islanders going all the way back. It was just about a new arena uh, that could have been uh, that that could have been effectuated a long time ago. Uh, but I think uh, it, when it when it got when the fate of the Islanders got tied into uh, a a massive uh, a massive development proposal that was. Uh, Slated to make somebody millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, I think that's when the, the waters got muddied, and the islanders, unfortunately, uh, were uh, were just pawns in a in a much uh, in a much bigger uh, plan by 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 someone who wanted to make a great deal of money. And uh, I think that now is no longer what we're talking about. We're talking, you know, very very much more of a clear cut uh, situation where it's simply about the islanders and. Uh, their, uh, you know, uh, well, at least their reported uh, dissatisfaction with being at the Barclays Center, and uh, and if they if they wanted to come back to their uh, to their roots, uh, we're certainly ready, willing, and able to do what is necessary to bring them back there. And kind of final question, uh, Mr. Santino, and I appreciate the time uh, this evening. You know, there's been other reports that if Barclays Center opts out of the deal, the Islanders. You know, first priority would be to build a new arena. That would be their preference, either at Willis Point or Belmont. You know, you talk about rolling out the red carpet. People are excited. Yourself, other politicians in Nassau County talking about how great it would be to have them back. What is the pitch? I mean, why would the Nassau Coliseum make sense for two guys in Ledecky and Malkin who currently don't own the arena, um, have a lease deal uh, currently with Barclays Center? What do you think that pitch is? as to why that's a better place and not somewhere else within the five boroughs? Well, well certainly, first of all, Belmont is in Nassau County so and the Correct. town of Hempstead. So uh, Belmont would uh, certainly, from my perspective, be a, a, a good option. Uh, I just think uh, from uh, you know, the, the vantage point of, of history and the vantage point uh, and, and the perspective of, uh, of uh, the team's glory days, uh, the Coliseum would be a great place to have them. But Belmont certainly is a, a lot of viable options. But they're the Islanders. And the Islanders are a Long Island team. And, uh, you know, I remember from my grade school geography that uh, the five boroughs are technically on Long Island. But Long Island is Nassau and Suffolk County. Uh, <laughs> they, they, are our te- they are our team. Uh, uh, the, uh, the five boroughs are the Yankees and the Mets and the Nets and the Knicks. Uh, we deserve a team. Uh, so whether it's uh, obviously my first choice would be the Coliseum uh, property, but uh, whether it's Belmont uh, or some other site that we're not thinking of, uh, I, they belong back here on Long Island, uh, which uh, which to me is now so sort of tough again. Well, listen, I took a very unscientific poll on Twitter earlier today asking fans where they would want to play a uh, renovated Coliseum, Belmont, Willis Point, or Barclay Center, and 60% of fans, over 500 votes, said. Uh, renovated Coliseum would be their first choice. Town of Hempstead Supervisor Anthony Santino, I really appreciate a few minutes and uh, good luck. Thanks a lot. Joe, thanks so much. Bye-bye now.